Okay. So Jeff, NFV is a, in virtualization, those are the buzzwords, and I think will be the buzzwords for the next uh, two to four years. Um, talk about why HP is uniquely positioned to be successful in NFV and virtualization. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think at the highest level, um, one of the things that you would discover is uh, overall, HP's top 10 customers are all CSPs. If you dive into my business, um, you know, the top 25 CSPs worldwide, the tier ones and the tier twos, they generate, you know, 80% of the revenue uh, contribution that I make back to uh, HP. And, and, and it's a very margin rich business. You take that competency in telecommunications, 17 years of experience uh, of 4,000 individuals worldwide that are delivering these solutions into the carrier network, you combine it with 20 years of undisputed enterprise IT leadership, and you put them together in a business unit called Open NFV, and suddenly you have uh, uh, an equation that adds up to a result that it's very hard for other uh, network equipment pri providers, uh, OEMs, ISVs uh, to match. And so as we look across the uh, entire uh, competitive ecosystem or the landscape of solution, HP is really the only uh, vendor out there that has a logo at every single position in the stack. So we have uh, virtualizable commodity storage. We have virtualizable commercial off-the-shelf servers. We have um, open flow capable uh, uh, switching equipment. We build uh, an SDN controller, an open flow controller. We partner with other open flow controllers that are out there in the industry. We partner with all of the major hypervisor vendors, Zen, KVM, uh, Hyper-V, and VMware. As a matter of fact, we're VMware's largest channel to market. If you look at the resource management and orchestration space, we've been very intentional. We've built our product so it's multi-vendor, multi-controller, multi-hypervisor. So we're not going to lock our customers into a best of suite. We're going to allow them to do best of breed. If you go up the stack from resource management and orchestration into the actual network functions themselves, we build HLRs and HSSs and MRFs and policy and uh, mediation platforms. All of those have been virtualized and under control of our resource management uh, platform. And where we don't have a solution, we partner. So, like HP, they're not a vendor that you would traditionally think of for your virtualized evolved packet core. Well, we're working with a new uh, startup called Affirmed that's come out of uh, the networking environment. They build an MME, they build a packet gateway, they build a serving gateway. We build a virtualized HSS, put HP and Affirmed together. Uh, the global reach of an HP, our services organization, our, be, our ability to support uh, and deliver, and uh, we can absolutely positively give the carrier solution in that space. Then we provide the full OSS on assurance and fulfillment and common data to support all that, and really it's very difficult for any other company to match that kind of an offer. Has any carrier bought the entire stack today? That's a great question, yes. As a matter of fact, we do have some carriers that are very deep with HP and really consume uh, the entire breadth of the stack uh, from us. Um, I, I'm not at liberty to say exactly who those are, but we have two that really go deep with HP and uh, purchase the whole stack. Okay, so, so you're uniquely qualified to provide this NFV stack how do you protect yourself from other vendors coming in and progressively taking more of those pieces? Because our understanding of NFV adoption and virtualization adoption is it's going to happen in steps. It's not going to be all at once. So walk us through how you're going to defend each of your positions. Yeah, so the way that we're trying to defend is really through a strategy of being completely transparent and open. 
and what we're doing is we're tracking to what the carriers are describing through Etsy as the places that they want to uh, impact their network through NFB. So Etsy, I believe, has defined now 14 use cases that the carriers have you know, supplied the input on. And what we do is we go and we work uh, with our partners or other parts of HP as a company, like HP Networking or HP Software, to instantiate that use case and then be able to offer that use case to our customers and offer it in an open way. You know, it's all pluggable, modular components. So if there's a part of the solution that uh, our customer needs that comes from someone else, um, we're in a position to the pro provide that. So I can give you a specific example. Um, HP is not an expert in MPLS networking, but we're very good at software-defined networking. So it makes sense for us to partner with ALU Nuage to provide a SDN-capable or SDN-controlled MPLS network, and ALU and HP does that together. 